All right, you guys, I'm super excited. Today I'm going to be doing a, a beauty tip showing the holiday um, always amazing look. And so let me see if I can pull it up for you so you guys can actually see the look. And um, it's super pretty. And you guys voted on this for me <laughs> of which one to do a tutorial on. So I decided let's do it because you're going to be so impressed with how simple and easy this look actually is to put on. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and jump in. And for those of you who don't know me, my name is Margaret and I'd like I like to keep it really simple when it comes to um, makeup and, and skincare. Just use the things that work and keep it simple for myself and also uh, be able to teach you how to do it too. So if that's something that you're interested in, <laughs> then you definitely want to stick around and watch. So uh, before I jump into the look, I do want you to know that this holiday um, catalog, if you are a preferred customer on your um, consultants preferred customer program, then um, you should be getting this catalog any day now if you haven't already. And just a little tip on page 15, there are two uh, his and hers um, uh, cologne and fragrance on there that smell amazing. They're two of my favorites. So make sure to check that out on page 15. But every time one of these um, catalogs comes out, Mary Kay puts together uh, looks for that particular season. So this is another one that I thought was super pretty. And it's got our liquid sparkly eyeshadow. It's called Shimmer Liquid Eyeshadow. And that one is a super pretty look too. So that'll be great for the holidays. And then there's also this one here, which is really pretty too, uh, which is called Celebrate Pink. So today I'm going to do this one. Always amazing. And um, I already have the lipstick on. Uh, so I already have that on. I've already done my foundation, but I did want to show you guys before I jumped into the eyes and you're going to be surprised at how easy the eyes are. Um, there's literally the look actually only calls for one color in the eye area. <laughs> so um, I'm going to show you where you can add another color um, just to kind of have a um, kind of a, a way to soften up the look. But uh, but anyway, as far as actually what I do before I put on my eyeshadow is I always use a concealer. So this this is um, a deep ivory concealer. So uh, that's the color that works for me. And I just put a little bit on my lid and then I just kind of tap it out with a little sponge. And that way it kind of just keeps it right in place. Um, and this just gives me a little bit of a matte. Um, and it also gives, you know, a nice clean palette to work with and also gives the eyeshadow a little staying power too. So I always like to just kind of start with that before I do the rest of my shadow. So it just kind of cleans everything up, makes it look nice. And then we jump into the color. So, um, okay. So now I want to let you guys know this, these are, these are the colors that are in the look that I'm going to do today. Um, starry night is the blue that is just super pretty. And, uh, if you ever have questions to obviously ask your beauty consultant about application techniques and things like that, but in the catalog and on the Mary Kay websites, you'll always be able to go to, um, at least on the website tips and trends, and there's makeup artist looks there and you can click on it. You'll see exactly what I'm about to do. And it lists all of the products that, um, that go along with that look. So I'm using starry night. It is a very beautiful, uh, sparkly. Um, it does have a little shimmer to it a really pretty navy blue color. And I'm just going to kind of put a little bit on my lid and I'm using the eye crease brush. That's what the look uh, called for. So I thought I'd try that. And I'm just putting a little bit like right on the lid, like literally the lid. Okay. So there you have it. Now I'm going to do that on the other side here. Hopefully you guys can kind of see that. So I'm I'm trying not to go too high up with the color just because it's such an intense color, beautiful color, but you know, it's pretty bold, right? And we don't want it to just cover the entire eye. We want to have a little bit more um, of contrast, I guess, is a, is a way to put it and, and just to kind of soften it up a little bit. And you'll see in the picture when I bring it up again, that's kind of what they've done with the model is that they've kind of like softened it with that really pretty blue. So there you have it. That is the 
eyeshadow, Starry Night. And you can see where I put it just right on the lid using the eye crease brush. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a color. Um, it's a matte color called Biscotti. And I'm just giving myself a little bit of this color with this overall um, all over eye blending brush. And what I'm going to do is just kind of blend and soften even just right above where I put that um, Starry Night. So that way it gives it just a little bit of kind of softer edges. So don't ever worry if you get, you know, it looks like you have a little bit more color on than you like to have. You can always go back and blend it and you can always add more, you know, so I like to start kind of on the lighter side with the color. So I could make this more intense if I wanted to, but if you start intense, it's hard to take away. <laughs> so that's what I find. So anyway, that um, kind of just softens it out, but still gives that like wow factor of the blue starry night. And then you guys know how much I love to do um, Moonstone in the center of my eye here. So just for a little, little pop right there and right there. So just gives it that little extra bit of shimmer. Okay. So, so that's the eye look. Are you excited that it's that easy? <laughs> I hope so. So it does call for um, the liquid eyeliner. So I thought I'd go ahead and put on a little bit more of this. I did have some on before, but I'm going to just kind of show you how easy it is to use this liquid eyeliner. Do not be afraid of liquid eyeliner when you have an applicator like this because it is it's literally like a marker <laughs> you're applying it and it's just so easy and the other mistake i see a lot of people do is they actually apply um they try to do it in like one swipe and when you do that it's gonna probably not look right but if you do short little strokes hopefully i'm kind of showing you that then um, it's a little more forgiving it's almost like little dashes across your eyes and then it's just a little bit more forgiving. So anyway, so there you go. That's a little bit of the liquid eyeliner. And then of course our new waterproof um, eyeliner in black is what this look called for. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit more of that underneath. I'm not really going like underneath. I'm just trying to get as much as I can to the lash line where the lashes meet the lid just to give it a little bit more of an intense look, you know, and kind of, and just to fill in the space between the lashes. So the liquid on top, and then I just kind of went over a little bit with the, um, the black waterproof eyeliners, amazing eyeliners. These are awesome. Um, okay. And then ultimate mascara I'm going to use today for the lashes. So I'm going to put a little bit more of that color on here. And I kind of like to just do a little wiggle side to side and up. We have um, lots of different techniques, you know, when it comes to putting on your mascara, but I just find that kind of side to side wiggling it up there just gives you a little bit of that um, definition and then also helps to coat the lashes nicely. And the, mo the majority of the color you want at the base of the lash so that way the lashes can appear longer. So that's just a little trick. So I kind of wiggle it and go up, wiggle it up. There we go. And then all I have to do is my, a little cheek color and then I'm all done and it's under 10 minutes. I told you it would be. Um, okay. So now we have contour colors. I just like to show them. We have latte is a contour and then glaze is a highlighter. So those are two um, great uh, colors to kind of have in your palette. Um, I don't always use the contour, uh, but you know, if I'm doing like, if it's going to be something where you're taking photographs and stuff, then yes, absolutely. Uh, you probably want a little bit of that contour, but otherwise you can just use a little bit of your cheek color. And then if you want to do a little glaze on top, then you're all set. So here we go. So the color is golden copper. And this is a color that I don't often wear. So I'm excited to try it for you guys. And I'm just kind of giving myself a little bit on each side. I'm going to kind of tap it a little. A little bit goes a long way. Check that out. And then I'm going to blend it out. Blend it, blend it, blend it. There we go. Just a little bit. Get it out of the, you don't want to get it too close to your 
um, nose and cheek area there. So there you have it, you guys. That's the look. Do I look much like her? Let's see. Let's put her back up here. <laughs> Do a little side by side action. Do I look like her? <laughs> Almost. Almost, right? So you can play with this, the intensity and everything, of course, with the colors. But um, I hope you guys learned at least a little something from doing it. And I'm so glad that you showed up to watch. So uh, leave a comment. Let me know if you want your free makeup guide too. remember that um, you can just type comments uh, or comment. You can type in the comment guide, makeup guide, and I'll make sure to get that to you. So thanks for tuning in and let's get sparkly here. Okay. It's super fun. And I love these holiday looks. So make sure to check out your lookbook. If you haven't gotten it already, keep an eye out for it. Bye.